April Fools where a whole bunch of companies do a whole bunch of crazy shit. This year we've seen some pretty interesting things such as a dancing dog, a very cursed robotic llama and more. And so in this video let me share with you the April Fools events that I have experienced in my games. I play about like four or so gacha games and then you guys need to let me know what your gacha games did for you. Hi, welcome back to my channel and you already know what it is. We're going to be talking about the April Fools pranks or events that each of the games I play actually delivered. And so my dudes, let me clear the screen and I want to start off with this one right here, which is a uh, he's a dog. And so my guys, if you don't recognize the dog, this is Tour Dog, the developer of Alchemy Stars. And so for April Fools, these mad lads actually went out and made their own character that represents their company. This guy is Tour Dog. And that's not even the craziest part. With his skills, he essentially does a whole bunch of dance moves. That's a <laughs> <laughs> this actually might be one of my favorite ones like ever. And so let me show you guys the dance moves real quick because they are some pretty small moves. And we have the doggo over here and this is going to be the first one. Oh my god. Look at him go. Look at him freaking go. But like it gets more meme -y, Right. It gets pretty meme especially with this one. Look at that. Oh my lord. And so that is what Tour Dog did for Alchemy Stars. They made a Tour Dog and essentially made him a really great dancer in the battlefield, actually. However, that is not where his dance moves stop. I'm going to come up here and show you guys. He actually goes ahead and dances in the Colossus as well, aka the base, which is utterly nuts. But to be honest, guys, like he looks like he fits right in. All right. And so next, I want to talk about Princess Connect. So for the global version, we got... Uh, we got this thing. And so essentially, this is a robot llama. Uh, I, I think that's like the best way to put it. I think most gamers would be like very familiar with the concept of this. So essentially, he has like a, a gajillion health and then we have to take it down using our attacks. I think it's very like vanilla. It's very, very normal. Uh, it's nothing really, really crazy. However, that is just for the global version. For the JP version, they decided to make an auto chest, which is utterly insane. And this this freaking game, like the models and everything, I don't know. I don't think that this is an April Fool's prank because they've actually gone ahead and developed all of these three models. You know what? Maybe let's actually go ahead. I'll go through the tutorial and you can see how freaking crazy this gets. So I'm just going to hit the tutorial and show you guys what exactly the in game looks like. The graphics look incredible. This really could be a full fledged game. However, they are only making this one available for seven days so if you guys do want to check this out hop on to like tap tap or crew app or whatever third party app store you use and i'm sure it's going to be on there so yeah my guys just have a look at this like the insane production value in this guy over here i i really wish that they would actually release this as a full game because i'm a massive tft fan i've hit diamond like twice and i'll tell you guys now i didn't do it with skill i did it with perseverance i freaking grinded hard okay not 100 percent true but like like, I digress. Have a look at this. All of these characters, all of these 3D models, and a lot of them are actually voiced. All I can say for this one is that there is no way that this is just going to be an April Fool's joke. There is just absolutely no way. All right, and so that said, I have one more game to show you guys, and that is Blue Archive over here. And as you can tell, this is essentially an idol debut, which is absolutely nuts. What Nexon and Blue Archive have done is essentially put together an MV as well as these 3D models for these characters that are actually in game. And here they are putting on a live performance for us. Honestly, it's it's pretty cool. And I'm sure if you're like quite into idol culture or if you're into like some other games that are kind of like this, this will be very, very familiar. Honestly, the only thing I can say from this one is like kudos, kudos to you Nexon. Especially following like the whole VTuber drama, they didn't slow down. They just freaking went ahead and made an idol music video. And so that's going to lead me to the last game that I play, which is Genshin Impact which had nothing. Yeah, cool, I guess. But like, to be honest, what did we expect from Genshin Impact? And so that is going to bring me to the end of my video. And honestly, I really wanted to make this video, not because I wanted to show off the ones that I had, but I really wanted to see what did the games that you play, what did they actually put together for the April Fool's event? I know that some games like Epic Seven does side stories and all of that. Let me know whether you play Arknights, whether you play FGO, whether you play Dokkan Battle, GFL, Alzer Lane, even Raid Shadow Legends. I want to know what your games are doing for the April Fool's events. And so my guys, let me know down in the comments below because that honestly really is the purpose of this video. I want us to share what everybody is doing. And so as always, I would really appreciate it if you went ahead and did that. So thank you guys so much. 
Otherwise, y'all know the drill. Like, subscribe, notification bell, etc, etc. But as your boy Tour Dog once said, all good things must come to an end. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.